Check this out. My phone is a zoom webcam. Plus, it's wireless and it allows me to upgrade my video quality from this to this. Do not worry, I'll show you how to do it in this video and we're starting right now. What's happening YouTube? My name is Shaq and in this channel I do cover a lot of tech content. So if you're into tech content, why not hit that subscribe button so you stay updated every time I upload a brand new video. Today I'll show you how to turn your phone into a high quality wireless webcam. I actually made a video last year showing you guys how you could actually turn your phone into a wireless webcam, but it turns out that I found a much better way of doing it. The method I'll be talking about in this video is actually much more stable and it's compatible with both iOS as well as Android systems. I personally always use my phone as a webcam when joining meetings online because I hate being pixelated on a Zoom conference call. And plus, it's really, really easy to set up. Honestly, you just need like 30 seconds to set this thing up. I really like the fact that this thing is wireless and you do not need any cable in between this process. It's a completely wireless method. This is probably the best alternative for your laptop's webcam. If your laptop's webcam is damaged or if you do not have one or if you just want better quality, this is the best option you can get out there. And plus, you do not need to spend a single penny. You already have your phone and your phone is really, really powerful. So make sure you're taking advantage of it. But okay, enough of talk, let's go straight to the tutorial. Okay, so here I am on my phone. This is actually my screen. I've got my phone in here and all the steps that I'll be doing on my phone are actually here. So the very first thing you need to do is open your app store, okay? I'll be opening my app store because I have an iPhone, but if you have an Android phone, that's completely fine. Just open your Play Store. Search for Irian, I don't know how to pronounce this thing. English is not my mother language, <laughs> but okay, you need to search for this application right here. This is the application that has the blue logo. Simply download the application and open it. I already have it installed, so just click on open. On your MacBook, the very first thing you need to do is go straight to irian.com, okay? And a page like this is going to pop up. Over here, you're going to select whether you have a Windows operating system a Mac OS X or Ubuntu. In my case, I've got a Mac OS X, so I'll just click on webcam for Mac. I'll download the installation and then I'm going to launch it or simply open the installation. You'll then need to follow all the steps to install the application, continue, continue and stuff, agree. This is the regular procedure that you need to follow while installing any software on your computer, okay? So if you have a Windows PC, all you need to do is just follow all the steps. Continue, 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 and install it. Once it's completed, you'll be brought to a page which is going to say that the installation was successfully completed. Next up, you need to launch the Irene webcam application. Once you launch it, you need to connect both your laptop as well as your phone to the same Wi-Fi network, okay? This is so important, you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If you do not have a Wi-Fi connection at home, simply create a hotspot on your phone and connect your laptop to the same Wi-Fi network because all the connection is going to be established actually via Wi-Fi connection. Once you've connected both the laptop as well as the mobile phone to the same Wi-Fi network, you need to open the application on your phone. Once you open the application, the software on your laptop is going to detect the image immediately, okay? So you'll be able to see your camera's image on your software. Once this is done, we're going straight to Zoom application. We're going to launch the Zoom application. Obviously, you need to log in with your credentials and then we're going to start a new meeting. And as you guys can see on the inferior left corner of the meeting, we've got an option in here to select the webcam source. So you need to tap once in this small option over here and then select Irene as the webcam, okay? So this is going to be our webcam source. And boom, here we go. We've got our phone's camera as a high quality 
webcam. You will also need a small mounting to hold your phone. This is really important because if you just use your hands to hold your phone, you won't get a stable video. You'll get a shaky video and your conference call won't look nice at all. So make sure you get a small mounting. In my case, I've got this small mini desk tripod from amazon for less than 10 us dollars obviously it varies according to the region or country that you are located but it won't cost you more than 10 us dollars i really like the fact that i can also use this thing as a mini selfie stick instead of just using it as a desk tripod i can also carry and use it on the go you can also extend the length of the legs so that you can have more height on your tripod i personally do not extend my tripod because the longer it gets the less stable the tripod becomes the tripod also comes with a really nice tilt adjustment in here where you can adjust the angle of your shot which is a point to take in consideration according to your desk surface you can also remove the holder as well and replace it. If it gets damaged in the future, you can actually replace this thing. All you need to do is just move it around and you'll be able to remove it from the screw. Some people also love attaching different holders from different selfie sticks. All you need to do is just detach from your original selfie stick and apply on this tripod right here. This is how you attach your phone to the tripod, which is really stable and safe for less than 10 us dollars so i think that this is a good deal at the end you're going to choose whether you want to use the front camera or the rear camera as a webcam in my case i always use my rear camera because it delivers me better quality now hey if you find any issues like if the image doesn't show up on your laptop all you need to do is just restart the application close the application and reopen because sometimes it might happen that there might be a glitch in the process in the middle of the process and you just need to restart it to reactivate the image source and hey you've just turn your phone into a wireless webcam if this video really really helped you do like the video leave a comment in the description box below and why not subscribe to the channel it really helps me in growing this channel and reaching more people interested in this content i'll see you in the next one peace What's happening YouTube? My name is Shaq and in this channel I cover a lot of tech content. So if you're into cool top dope tech content, today I'll show you how to turn your phone into a wireless webcam. I actually made a video last year in 2020. By the way, happy new year. I actually made a <laughs>